Hi and welcome to another video. After uploading a couple of rather theoretical videos recently, I thought I'd make a little hands-on GNN video series. In this series I will build a generative graph neural network and update you with my progress over the weeks. Of course I will also include a bit of theory for all of the things that I'm building. I found a suitable dataset from MoleculeNet which I will use for this project. This dataset contains roughly 80,000 molecules as a smile string, which are labeled according to their ability to inhibit HIV replication. So what this means is simply that we have a binary label that tells us if a specific molecule is able to inhibit the human immunodeficiency virus. I'm not a biologist or chemist, so forgive me if this is not perfectly precise, but the general goal of an inhibitor is to avoid that the virus attacks a cell. So here the virus would try to connect with the receptors of the cell, but those are already blocked by the inhibitor, that's why the cell stays unharmed. With this data set I want to build in the first step a GNN that is able to classify whether molecules are suitable HIV inhibitors. And in the second step I want to build a generative model that can create new molecules that are potentially HIV inhibitors. I will split this video series in five parts and probably each part will be one video. The first part is all around how to build a custom dataset in PyTorch Geometric. That means how to build node and edge features from the molecule descriptions. After that the aim is to build a simple graph neural network for the classification task. In video 3 I plan to build upon that and want to implement a generative graph neural network that is able to generate potentially useful HIV inhibitors. So that would be a classical drug discovery task. After that when most of the training tasks are done I want to visualize my results. For this I will build a simple dashboard with the python based library Streamlit. And finally, in the last video, I also want to take a look at the explainability on graphs. So I also want to be able to explain why my model outputs a certain prediction. So that's the rough schedule for this GNN series. And I wanted to mention that I don't know yet how much time I need for each of the steps and also if my ideas will even work. Therefore, this is also a little journey for me and I would be happy if you could support me with feedback or ideas. Last but not least, all of the code I write will be available on GitHub and I link the repository under each of the videos. With that, I look forward to start building the dataset and I see you soon in the next video.